Wednesday, January 16th. Um, we have a roll call. Uh, Thomas Milan, Tim Davis, Carl Lentz. Has, he has resigned. He is now a commissioner. Uh, Carol Killian. Here. Lawrence McDermott. Here. Ruth Traeger. Here. Bishop Derek Triplett. Here. We have a quorum. Good morning. <coughs> um, we'll call um, uh, Robert Her Erhart, sorry, uh, from the uh, Volusia County Economic Development Department. Good morning. Thank you. Happy New Year again to everyone. Uh, Rob Earhart with the County's Economic Development Group. I just wanted to make you aware that our next presentation of quarterly uh, business facts and statistics will be held Friday morning at the uh, Daytona Beach International Airport in the Volusia Room. Again, we start at uh, 745 with breakfast. The uh, meeting will start promptly at 8 o'clock. I'm, I'm sorry, it's Friday the 8th of February. I forgot to mention the date, didn't I? <laughs> Friday the 8th of February, so that's, what, three weeks? Three weeks from Friday. And uh, we're certainly uh, looking forward to our uh, newly elected chair, uh, well, continuing the tradition of welcoming uh, the group to, uh, to that venue. So. Uh, guest speaker for that, you'll recall if you've been to the last few <laughs> quarterly presentations, we've instituted a guest speaker, so you don't have to just listen to me talk, I'm drone on for half hour, 45 minutes, but um, uh, we're having a guest speaker, Mr. Jim Rose, on the topic of foreclosures. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people uh, think they know a little bit about foreclosures, and the objective here is to try and increase everybody's understanding of the topic, as well as to report on current statistics there. Uh, so going forward into 2013, uh, we're excited at uh, some of the opportunities that uh, are before the City of Daytona Beach, economic development opportunities in 2013. You all know what they are, but for the record, uh, International Speedway Corporation and Daytona International Speedway have some pretty aggressive plans to uh, improve that product and uh, enhance it as an entertainment destination. Uh, you've got two uh, separate developers and investors looking at uh, putting beachfront uh, hotel, condo hotel projects. One in the $80 million range, one in the $100 million range. So those are, uh, either of those would be impactful uh, by themselves. Uh, Halifax Health uh, is talking about doing development on uh, acreage that's uh, located across the street from uh, their main facility. So that can be exciting. Embry-Riddle, everybody's aware of uh, the capital program that they have taking place on campus. Uh, I happened to be at a meeting, uh, I think a month, uh, maybe a little more than a month ago, uh, where Dr. Johnson spoke, and he said that for the next 10 years, you will not see a crane, or you will see a crane on this campus. <laughs> you will see a crane on this campus for the next 10 years doing whatever in terms of capital improvements. So I think that speaks well, and particularly in support of their effort to increase their enrollment pretty significantly over the three to five year period of time. Obviously, Darden Restaurants has uh, an interest in improving their footprint here in Daytona Beach. And then uh, I think everybody's aware that the expansions uh, that you've previously uh, spoken to at both Teledyne and at AO Precision both of those, we understand, will uh, get their certificate of occupancy sometime during the first quarter of this calendar year. And so, again, create uh, job opportunities as well. Nice article on manufacturing in the News Journal on Monday. There is a, a challenge in finding the higher skill levels for some of the manufacturers, but uh, it creates opportunity for, our, uh, for your residents and for uh, Volusia <coughs> County residents uh, nonetheless. So. Uh, there are programs available if uh, somebody is interested in pursuing manufacturing to help them get a foothold in that if they've not done manufacturing before. Uh, Emery's uh, aware of most of those, but I'm happy to work with y'all or him to uh, help any of your residents and citizens understand just how to, how to go about pursuing those. So uh, that's really all I came prepared to say. If you have any questions for me, I'll do my best to answer. Thank you. That's great. Any questions? Uh, I had taken Dr. Sharples over to Crane Camps uh, in December and met with um, Sean Holly. Sean, yeah. Uh, looks like they would like to do a, an expansion, but they had some problems with some of the, the I guess, fees, taxes, and that type of thing, which are normal business expenses, of course. But, um, 
I don't know. Dr. Sharples talked to you, the gentleman about the, the, the meeting. He had mentioned to me that y'all had been there. I've since spoken to Sean directly, and uh, if you recall, when uh, their request for uh, uh, local financial support on the Brownfield redevelopment bonus component of a QTI tax refund program incentive came before y'all sometime last summer, Emory, June, July. Right. Uh, you recall that they were uh, considering uh, that they had an alternate location, their home uh, parent company, SNS Cycle in Viola, Wisconsin. And so I, what I understand the ownership of the company has decided is that they are not at this time going to grow aggressively the way they had uh, outlined in that application, but they were going to uh, do more organic growth uh, given s some of the remaining uncertainties surrounding their business model and this current marketplace. Uh, I think a lot of people had expectations that once the elections occurred that, you know, what uncertainty was in the market prior to maybe would resolve itself. Uh, business owners that I'm speaking to say, mm, not so much, and uh, then this whole uh, national discussion about the so-called fiscal cliff, <laughs> uncertainty <laughs> removed, maybe not so much. So uh, I, I would say to you that, at least in my conversation, Larry, maybe Sean uh, indicated to you all otherwise, but he uh, indicated to me that they're still going to be very careful in how they move forward. But clearly, um, they're well positioned uh, in their space and they're doing exciting things in their uh, Daytona Beach location and they have every intention of continuing to be successful from there. Right. All right. Thank you. Any other questions? Good. Thanks a lot. Um, your turn. <laughs> yes. Keith Norton <laughs> with Norton. Team Volusia. Delighted to be here. Uh, I just thought I would start the presentation with uh, the excitement of what is uh, what we hope to happen in 2013. Uh, at our annual meeting, we will uh, present the 2013 program of work, which uh, has ratcheted up with a lot of proactive business recruitment programs, uh, mainly focused in the first part to site selectors that are very important to this region. Again, you have to be top of mind uh, with these folks. They have to know the advantages of, of Volusia County, and they have to be comfortable with the players here and understand that our governments are very pro-business. Uh, so we're doing that as well as some very focused missions to uh, the Northeast and Canada, uh, which will uh, hopefully provide uh, good, good leads, direct leads to Team Volusia, which of course we will share with our 16 communities. Uh, the goals for 2012 were uh, 55 to 85 announced jobs. They were approved by our board in November 2011. We have announced 44 jobs in uh, 2012. We're just shy of just a few jobs announced. However, our, uh, we have a couple of projects that, uh, one of which you know about uh, that is, will be pending uh, uh, announcement the first quarter of uh, March, and that's com first quarter of 2013. That's subject to the company when they feel comfortable to announce it. But uh, our next year's or 2013 goals are 225 to 375 jobs. Mm -hmm. They've ratcheted up. These were approved by our board. We hope with the activity level that we are going to see reaching out proactively that we will meet those numbers and exceed those numbers. So we're excited. Uh, this year, 2012, for the prior year, uh, the projects uh, had a capital investment of $1.15 million coming into the community and a payroll of $1.4 million. So we're excited about that. <clears throat> coming up, uh, as just an overview of the fourth quarter, uh, we went to Cornet Global uh, in, in, Orlando, in uh, Orlando where we met with 50 site locators. We also attended and exhibited at National Business Aviation Association. Uh, our practitioners uh, actually uh, participated in that and we are working on the leads. And of course many of you attended the Florida 
Power and Light playing to win seminar by Boyette Strategic Advisors. Uh, really top-notch national uh, site locators who uh, gave a great overview of uh, doing business and the knack of winning projects, the fact that it is a long-term process, it's relationship building. They also uh, talked about the importance of being out and being seen, uh, being top of mind with site locators. And as a matter of fact, uh, Carrie Simolin and I uh, went to Atlanta in November and December. We uh, went to several site locators in uh, Dallas, Texas. And at one of the largest companies, we were the second group to come in. And they said, gosh, you're the second group today. That was December the 18th, which is not a highly business <laughs> active day, and we were the second group. And they were going around to our same consultants. So that's an example of why we need to be top of mind, why we need to be out. We're designing a direct mail program to the top site selectors uh, in the country uh, that will hopefully be dropping uh, the end of the month. And we'll tell you more about that as time goes on. Uh, I don't want to delay in um, sharing the news, and many of you know that, that Carrie Simolin um, tendered her resignation uh, last week, and it was with great, um, <clears throat> um, it, it, uh, we were all surprised. Uh, we wanted her, and she was a key member of the Team Volusia team. She uh, helped me in crafting the 2013 program of work and our uh, proposed budget. So she uh, has been a great, great asset for the organization for the last two years, from its initial year under the inaugural president to the very, very important year of 2012 when she was interim president and CEO. So I just want to uh, thank Carrie for, for her hard work in making Team Volusia uh, being so successful, and, and we hope to raise the momentum from this point. Right. Well, Carrie, welcome. We're going to miss you. Yes. What are your plans, or do you have any that um, you can I share? Well, I have several that are kind of cooking. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. is this on? Uh, first of all, how embarrassing. <coughs> uh, 8 a.m. I've always had it in my head 8:15, which oh. is why I am always <laughs> late. I said they start so promptly, and Rob just breezes through his. I guess so. Uh, <laughs> Anyhow, so well, apologies. You came at the there. right time. Yeah, yeah. perfect. <laughs> I perfect. did, didn't I? <laughs> um, but no, I do have several opportunities um, uh, that I'm exploring, and um, my hope, and I think uh, it'll probably end this way, but I'll stay in Volusia County, which is what my desire is. So. Oh, well, great. Well, mm -hmm. we're going to miss you, but we hope we see you in some other aspect soon. I'm sure so you congratulations. will. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. And I'd just like to remind everyone about our annual meeting that's going to be at the Daytona 500 Club on January 30th. It's from 8.30 to 10. Public is welcomed. Uh, investors, uh, there's no cost, but there will be a $25 charge for breakfast. And we have a guest speaker, Kate McEnroe, with Kate McEnroe Consulting, well-respected consultant uh, who will... Um, give her vision and input on uh, economic development and the new new uh, way to land deals and also an overview of her uh, thoughts of Volusia County. What was but the time again? It's 8.30 to 10 at the Daytona 500 Club at the Speedway. And please RSVP to Diane Larson and the information is actually on our website, teamvolusiaedc.com. Great. Thank you. Any questions? Comments? Just want to uh, just personally say thank you to Carrie for all the uh, hard work you, you did with us and uh, your enthusiasm, uh, energy. Uh, it's been a pleasure working with you. And um, at the end, if anybody else wants to make a comment, I'd like to give her a hand. Absolutely. Thank you, Carrie. Definitely. We certainly wish you the, ve the best. So, And hope that you, like you said, if you stay in the area, we'll see you again. Yes, I'm, I'm telling everyone, it's not the last you've seen of me yet. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Okay. Um, Larry, the Vision Foundation? Yeah, uh, there's a couple things going on. One, uh, as everybody knows, or 
should know there's a, a, a summit or not a summit. What is called a uh, workshop at four o'clock today for transportation issues, oh, yeah. which we are attending. And I think going to make a short presentation because it's not going to be time for a long presentation of anything uh, concerning the train station. Uh, the train station is still uh, we've been meeting pretty much every other week for since May. Uh, Sands Lassiter is helping me in that uh, in that uh, regard. Um, very talented guy, and uh, I've got some other talented people who are, are members of our committee. But 12 to 15 of the business uh, owners in the in the downtown area, uh, Pete Zahn uh, uh, is doing a lot of work for engineering uh, engineering aspects stuff that I don't know anything about, which is <coughs> why I'm glad I know people that are smart. Uh, but anyway, so uh, we're going to work on that because uh, again, we've been ten. Uh, and I say tentatively, we've been chosen as one of the eight stops for the new uh, line from uh, Jacksonville to Miami. However, uh, that may change uh, politically uh, but since there is a, a company uh, which is an offshoot of, of um, FEC called All Aboard Florida starting uh, a line from Miami to Orlando going through Cocoa. And 528, <clears throat> right now acquiring the land, mainly from Coco to Orlando to the OIA or MCO or what do you want to call the airport there. Then uh, their next phase may be going north from Coco or going to Tampa, and that would seem to be the the um, the the time that would or the, the effort that would catch us uh, would be of course the north, northern uh, tier to go to Jacksonville to tie in Jacksonville. Uh, reason why uh, uh, Amtrak's not involved in this right now is evidently there is money in Tallahassee about 118 million dollars in matching funds uh, but <clears throat> um, there's no plan of action uh, regarding those funds. The funds are just sitting there but there's nothing, there's no, no skeleton underneath them to, to get to them. So uh, again, we're, we're trying to uh, uh, work with either Amtrak, with, doc, uh, with uh, All Aboard, anybody who's going to put a, tra a train through this area. And what we need now is a station. And uh, the public has chosen the former station site, which is on Magnolia and Seagrave, and there is land available there. So we, you know, we're looking at that, and uh, there's other sites as well, but that's pretty much the primary one. That also throws us into the ISB corridor, which uh, which would be beneficial with the transportation corridor. So that that would that would lend itself to that. Plus, also uh, downtown. Uh, other uh, the only other initiative that we're working with, two initiatives we're working on, of course, is the healthcare initiative. They continue with that. And meeting with this department we're going to yeah. have uh, quite a few people show up we've taken a number of steps forward on that mm -hmm. um, sorry but you've um, I've been to those some of those meetings right. and uh, it's 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 really an incredible um, initiative that that is finally starting to take hold so yeah the health care initiative is uh, Keith if, uh, is to bring you up to speed on it is uh, t by 22 percent of the people in Volusia County uh, are between the cracks. They're either they don't have Medicaid, and they don't have Medicare, and they don't have private insurance. So uh, we're, what we're trying to do is organize uh, a physicians groups or whatever in order to provide health care to to the those people, the working uninsured. Uh, and um, uh, third is uh, and and I'm going to have a meeting about in just a few minutes with with a party about uh, having our uh, the fifth year anniversary meeting concerning uh, the um, vision plan itself uh, kind of go and do a reboot you know dust it off because that's what we were uh, uh, the foundation was uh, formed to make sure that we just didn't put it up on a shelf and not and not uh, work on it and so now we need to I think you re need to reorganize some of the efforts in it kind of categorize them in maybe four or five six different groups that way we can, uh, we, we don't have to 
uh, work on 143 different uh, 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 individual projects would be, you know, impossible. Anyway, so we got a few things going on. All right. Thank you, Larry. Um, the only thing added to that is that the city departments are putting together a list of things that, that have been accomplished, the strategies that were listed in the vision plan, and uh, they're, they're supposed to come up with that report here fairly soon, actually. We were hoping it would be done by now. So uh, Paul McKittrick has been helping us out with that. So any other questions, comments? Okay, let's go right into our planned uh, economic development market trends report meeting that um, uh, we decided um, to put that off until uh, this first quarter because of so much stuff that was going on during December. So I hope everybody is okay with that. If you're not okay with it, we had to do it anyway, so. <laughs> <laughs> Emery? Um, <clears throat> what I provided for you in your backup is uh, the program from last year. Uh, and what we have, my discussion was <laughs> that we were, we were uh, going to do less um, than we did last year. We weren't going to have all the persons uh, that are participating on this one participating in the next one. Uh, I believe uh, we have um, the market study report. I'm, I'm sure that's the key point. Uh, Sarah Bates is on tap. She's just waiting for us to tell her when to show up and uh, put on the, uh, at her presentation. Um, uh, but besides that, what we talked about was actually uh, taking out most of the rest of that and just having perhaps a company or two to talk about um, their plans, their accomplishments, uh, you know, with, where they came, how they started in Daytona Beach or Volusia County, uh, where they are now and what their future plans are. And then we, we'd be out. Um, but I'm, that's what I'm starting with, so you guys kind of... I'm going to throw this back open again and uh, see where we are. Right. Uh, Bishop, we met, I think, over the, the last meeting and kind of went over a quick, you know, what if and who the people that we would have in here. So um, I know the, the main thing is, is really primary, the, the uh, market study report. People seem to do that. So we were going to have it in here. Um, and uh, advertise it to, you know, everybody who Susan Serbone can send out an, uh, an announcement to. Right. But, uh, Bishop, do you remember some of the things we talked about? <laughs> um, we did talk about what, basically what Emory said. I think the key thing was making sure that we, our outreach was... Um, to some different parties, that we wanted to be very, very intentional in reaching out to uh, different people to get people here and to possibly even talk about, kind of check the, um, uh, the distribution list to see who's missing okay. and, and to make an extra effort to, to get uh, those persons here. I think we still would like to have the Volusia County and, and uh, economic Team the Volusia. team people, you know, on the agenda as well. Okay. I Hillary. thought we talked about contacting some of the neighborhood associations and yes. uh, try to get some of the members. Right. Members, right. associations, civic organizations, and the like. But as far as the agenda and the people we want on here, you know, it's uh, primarily the market study, these folks, and I thought there was somebody else we were going to invite. But anyway, any other ideas? Not for this one, but maybe um, <clears throat> 2014, because the idea of having a couple businesses present is great. I, I know at one point we talked about an awards. Oh, you know, right. Would that be a forum to do that? We talked about having a, an awards program for sure. businesses. You right. know, maybe we could, you know, 14, think about that's when we do that. Okay. Uh, just kind of give me uh, what categories you might want to award on or what have you, uh, number of jobs, number, cap amount of capital investment, whatever. Yeah, I, I think I'll have to go back and try to pull them I think we were talking more about uh, small businesses that might have gotten started here and are doing fairly well that we, you don't normally hear about. I believe that was okay. part of what we were thinking. All right. Um, let me... Uh, but that's 14. 
That's 14. I got you. Let me let me do this. I will uh, get with uh, Carol and the and the committee, and uh, we'll send out a plan, a schedule, and if that's okay, I'll start working and uh, working to get that done. So that it's going to be March the 14th. 14th. Is that you're going to try to March 14th uh, secure yes. this room, and yes. we'll put out a, a little flyer and a notice, and I'll get with Susan and we'll see if we can't. Um, get to the um, community organizations. No problem. 6 p. 6, 6 p.m. We talked about having um, some kind of refreshment yeah, out here in the, out there in the in lobby. The lobby uh, perhaps uh, at 5.30-ish, mm -hmm. and then we start the program at 6. So I'll still try to, try to accomplish that. Um, I just mentioned to you that if we're going to have for example, I mean, if we're going to have um, uh, Team Volusia and we're going to have the, have the county, uh, and I'm not sure what what our what our presentation would be. Maybe it's two minutes just to introduce and say, "Hey, I'm I'm the new executive director." Blah blah blah. Here's what we're doing. We're working with the county. County says, "Hey, I'm I'm the county. I'm doing this." Blah blah blah. blah, blah, blah. And and then uh, it seems would be remiss to leave out the CEO of Business Alliance. And the chamber, so maybe it's a it's a two minute. Blah, blah, okay. Blah, here's what, it, and then they hand the baton off to the next one. Hand the baton off to the next one. Well, I think the focus is wh what you were talking about. Let's uh, where are we going in 2013, mm -hmm. and what's okay. not so much what happened, but where we're going to try to go. Let the work right. Right. Okay. And and if I may, just one second, since mm -hmm. we're working on this kind of a workshop piece, I might want to do that early. And then have the meat of it be Sarah Bates, and she she does it, it out. and she closes it out. Right. Okay. But if we can, to stress what Carol said, if we can, whoever's presenting, mm -hmm. if we could concentrate on 2014, 1314 14 focus. Right. Whatever your okay. focus is. I got you. I got you. Right. Uh, so that brings me to this one. What's the theme? <laughs> What's happening? Uh, future outlook. I'll throw something out there. You guys let me know mm -hmm. if yeah. you like it. Thank you. And that's good that uh, Sarah will be there. So, okay, we'll, we'll discuss further. Any other comments or questions about what we need to do with this? But it's, yeah, put it on your calendars. We'll get it ready. We'll get a flyer out. We'll get the information going. Okay. When is the refreshing or the, or the retooling of the visioning? It's gonna, it was supposed to be... The end, toward the end of March or first part of April. Oh, okay, so it wouldn't it be won't ready. Have with this, no. But it, I was thinking, would it be ready? Oh no, to make, it wouldn't be ready to make no. some type of presentation. That's a good idea, but I would no, not really. Actually, or at least we say what we're getting ready to do. We uh, could, we could. To, to do, yeah, but we could. Is it? It's Especially on the health ready. initiative. I mean, we'll know a lot more tomorrow. This is moving along very well. We're getting so many community people I'll involved in it. So I hope you can come. I'll be there. Okay. <laughs> um, that's a good idea, though. We may put... <laughs> that, that's a little private. A little private joke. <laughs> okay, we might put the vision on, on the agenda, maybe. We'll see. Okay. I, I'd, I'd Who's going to do that? Cause I'd we, rather... We, we're talking two minutes. Two, three Larry. minutes at the mat. At yeah, the just uh, put me on there, and then I, what I'll do is I'll just explain what we're going to do, when we're going to do it, and how we're going to do it. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to do some interactive voting. Rather than have all, of, all the groups get together like they did last time and, 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 and get together in skull, we're going to get the, those uh, little voting machines that they use like in eggs and issue breakfasts. Oh, yeah, that's coming and, up. And yeah. that way we're going to yeah. control the, the, what, what topics and let them pick and choose because... It took us over a year and a half to get the document made. We're not going to spend the original. Year and a half no, we're not to, going to do that to redo again. it. We're going to spend one day. Right. Well, back to okay. our agenda here. Um, we may or may not have the the vision. We'll we'll kind of keep that open. Yes, ma'am. So, okay. okay. I, I have enough. Okay. Good. Great. Any other comments, questions? Okay. Any uh, no visitors? <laughs> the next scheduled meeting is. Well, our March 14th, uh, so we don't really need a February meeting, do we? Or do we? Next meeting is 20th. Yes, it does. Yeah, but February 20th. February 20th. Um, 
it's it's up to you. It's, I, I think it would be a good idea to have it. Okay, uh, well, let's it, leave it, it on just, the schedule because you might have something we may yeah, need to discuss just to, anyway. Just to go over so the program and, you know, what February happened. February 20th on your schedule. Okay. All right. Any other questions, comments? Gosh, we got done. We got yeah. done good. Do I hear an adjournment? There's adjournment. Good. Thank you so much. Thank you all. <laughs>